Hey everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm going to look at the Spintax short codes. Now, I did a little bit of one on the last video. I'm just going to go a bit more in depth in it. So, I've got some Spintax short codes here. These are ones what I did for one of the other videos, which I'll put in a bit later. And this is where I actually showed how I do my Spintaxing or how I do my short codes, like this, me meta titles, how I break them down and how I get them into this order. Now what I tend to do is I'll have maybe about 10 of these, where I've got like sort of main keyword location, location main keyword, and variations on the keyword, which I want to rank for. And like I said, I'll get about 10 down so that we've got lots and lots of different variations. And I'll always merge them together for use in other programs. But for using this one, I tend to keep these separate. And that's because what I like to do is I might have a look and see that, you know, say this one, location casting, is not doing so good. So I want to change that to location something else, you know. Now, if I'm trying to find it in here, it's a pain in the backside because I've got to like try and look and, oh, well, is that it? Is, you know. So it's a bit harder to change, whereas if they're there, I just change it, and then I change it in the, the actual spin tax short code. So all I do is let's create a new spin tax short code, and let's call this one net title. Oh, that's what it's going to be. Oh, that's what it would be, okay? So now I have got... One, two, three, four, five, six, about eight. So I've got eight there, so let's just create eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's move these over to the screen. Okay. Let's see. So there's one goes in there. Save that. Now, because these are the meta titles, what I would do is copy that, which copies the spin tax a bit, and actually put it in the meta title layer. Okay? And then, obviously, if this was the meta description, I would copy that and put it in the meta description. And then, obviously, you could have your keywords, which was something like sort of baby. Again, you could have these as a spin tax shortcut, so you're tactically getting all mixed up all the time, which is always a good idea. Baby casters. And again, you can put in here. Location. And then. Location. Baby. Don't space. Casting. Okay. You got them. And that's them done. So what we'll do, we'll do that, let's have a look. I copy that again. And just put that here. Syntax. Don't need all this. I'll leave the city short because I've got something to click on. I'll get rid of all of this. Same spin tax description, so I don't need that. Right. We update that now. Over 
click here, refresh. So we've got there, locksmith in Norton. Sure, sure code hasn't come out. We've got baby casting, not a professional hand and feet casting in bronze. Uh, it hasn't come out because, like a numpy. So we've got a uh, baby cast and not in professional hand and feet castings in bronze. Let's see what we get if we go into Royston. Royston baby casting series hand print foot cast. So every time you go into here, well, every page is going to have a different, as you can see up there, I've got shaft and baby casting series, hand print and foot print castings with prayer. This is basically down there, so I'll do cutters. It changes to that. Uh, Could hand baby foot castings, service hand print and foot print casting with prayer. Okay, so that is basically your spin tack short codes. They can be used for lots and lots of different things. You can include them inside your X fields and you can include them inside here. You can include them inside the text that I've just done there. The only place you can't use these on really is on your services pages and on your home page. It can only be used within the magic page. But they are good, they are powerful, because what's happened is, first off the system's picking one of these and then basically it randomized because it's unspinning one of these as well. So you've got like eight times however many of them are which is going to give you is like thousands of different combinations of what you can get. Which makes your meta titles on all of your pages really unique. Okay, hope that was useful. Catch you on the next video. Bye.